Mm. Uh, they already have. <laughs> How 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 we so? Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of How We Sort. My name is Angeline, and I'll be the host for today. So I have Jay and Gavin with me today, who will be sharing with us on how they sort a freehold semi D at Lee Huan View. So Jay and Gavin, do tell us more about this project. Okay, so just some brief information on this property. This one is a semi detached, right at the Serangoon Gardens and Cliff, so towards the Lorong Chuan side. So it's very accessible to the main roads, and it's also a very quiet street. It's located on quite a high ground as well. If you've taken a look at our video, you also notice that even from the first level of the property, looking across the street, we are already equivalent to like level four or five that is opposite us. Very decent land size for a semi-detached house with close to 4,000 square feet. So because of its close connectivity to Lorong Chuan and quiet surroundings around the area, were there any particular parts of the house that you liked? Personally, I, I like the location. Semi-D is a very, very rare product within the real estate market as in we like the fact that this is two and a half story, good facing and quiet and cliff. So it's, it's along the cul de sac road. I think most buyers actually appreciate we are really near to the cul de sac street. Overall, it's a very quiet street and, and it brings a lot of uh, value to the incoming buyers who really appreciate this product or house and it can be passed down as a legacy for, for their family members. During the sale of this unit, what was the reason that the buyers were attracted to the unit? Okay, so basically, when the buyers actually came in, they, they actually um, to us, they did a lot of research on the semi D around District 19. They, they see deep value within the Huan and what is the disparity with the semi D and the inter terraces. So basically, when they see the disparity and they actually think they should start taking action in order not to miss the market because they actually feel that the market actually is moving very strongly. Our unit at Li Huan actually have very deep value in terms of the semi D segment, in terms of land size, frontage and the location, I mean, most importantly is the address. Were there any challenges attracting the right buyer for this semi-D? So I think one of them is because of the age of the property and fair wear and tear over the years as well. Of course, the white paint gets yellowed out over the years. So I think one of the first things that we did was do a full repainting of the interior and exterior of the home just to present better first impression for buyers who come in through the main gate on their first time. Another thing that we wanted to take a look at was, of course, some of the areas that when buyers walk through the home, they may not be able to visualize the space over there. So, example, for this house over here at Lee Huan View, one of them was the outdoor space on the basement level. So, a very unique thing about this house is that natural basement that Melvin talked about in the home tour video. So, that is where your basement level is not actually in the basement. Because of the land that's elevated above the ground, the basement level is actually having their natural ventilation through the entire level. So so we brought in some staging furniture also, just to fill up the space a little bit, just to show that this can be done up as like a chill out area, outdoor lounge area, and I think it helps buyers to visualize the use of the space rather than keeping it kind of plain and empty. What advice do you have for our future home sellers and buyers? Real estate being an extremely scarce uh, product in Singapore, so buyers have to be really aware. <coughs> So buyers have to be really aware of what they are going after and what is the exit plan and the strategy they are going to use property to build their wealth, accumulate their goals or build their wealth or reach their goals in terms of using property as a product. So if they are going after a landed segment, they are going to be aware that landed segment is going to be extremely sought after probably in 2022 as well as we try to gap up from 2021 and 2022. So for the condo buyers also trying to play catch up. So if they are priced out of the landed segment, so the next tier you'll be going will be the cluster housing. At this moment, we clear price disparity along these segments really. So I mean, if you are biased at this present moment, please do your own diligence and if you can, do not time the market. So I think for sellers, some quick tips would be in terms of the marketing side of things, we want to ensure that you start off the marketing with most of the obstacles already solved. You have the solutions in your back pocket in place so that when buyers come in, maybe they will feel like they have less roadblocks and they can feel that emotional appeal. For example, like if there's certain cracks and wear and tear in the home, just go and touch that up before you even kick start the marketing. Marketing side of things also to ensure that it is done right to the maximum to bring out the full value of your home. Why we do video home tours is so that we can bring out all these plus points of the property, highlight them. Also, the other side of thing is to solve the potential obstacles that buyers may face. We can pre-qualify the buyers so that you don't have a lot of viewings coming in, but then at the same time, most of them are also finding the house not suitable for them. I think the second one that we want to take note of is also in terms of the pricing. We don't want to price it too high in the market. And at the same time, we also want to price it right where it is a 
very receivable level in the market and at the same time it can garner a lot of traction and sometimes this can create this very strong demand right from the get-go of your market it might even in turn drive up an increase in the eventual sale price as well so we have come to an end of today's episode so thank you Jay and Gavin who shared a lot with us on how they sold semi-d thank you for staying with us and we hope to see you again